Robert Baggert here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, Chicago, Illinois, and even more specifically than that, we are at the Brookfield Zoo. This is one of my favorite zoos. This is the zoo, one of the zoos I grew up going to. I, I went to the Milwaukee Zoo and the Brookfield Zoo here in Chicago. That I have a lot of memories connected to these zoos. And uh, this, the Brookfield Zoo does have mold a rama so we'll keep an eye out for that, those as we traverse the zoo. And right now, they're having a special exhibit here at the Brookfield Zoo called Ice Age Giants. I don't know if you can see that there's actually an animatronic mammoth looking over my shoulder. So they have a, a set of animatronic Ice Age animals for us to enjoy. So please, follow me. Now let's just take a look at what we got here. Got this big old mammoth here wagging its tusks through the air and then a little tiny baby mammoth right there look at the look at the cute little baby mammoth big old mama mammoth there can you hear the noises they make have a giant moa it's a giant ostrich like bird you can hear it moaning to get to the zoo we got to cut underneath the highway here using this secret zoo tunnel in here oh we got a bear playing with butterflies a statue here of a lion fighting a snake. The ultimate showdown. This is King Niani. He is the largest bronze gorilla statue in the world. Carousel here in the center of the zoo it has some interesting animals on it. You can see some sort of warthog right there. And there's a terrifying baboon eating a banana. Oh, I think that's a giant mantis right there. You can ride on a giant housefly. That's pretty amazing. That peacock chariot's pretty cool. See all the different uh, animals there marching in a circle. See the gorilla there, the panda eating bamboo. Oh, there's those nasty old camels right there. Some sort of porpoise. There's a wolf there. There's that uh, praying mantis. Oh, I saw the fly. You see the fly go by? Oh, I think there's a, man a manatee. A manatee back in there. Some good, some good stuff here. Fairly nice day today at the zoo. So we look for some animals to look at. This building here is called Desert's Edge. Heading into the edge of the desert. Some very adorable meerkats in there. Here, little meerkat. What are you doing? You're not even a cat. Oh. Here's the mole rat section. There's Dammerland mole rats in there. What are you what are you mole rats doing in there? Oh, there's the mole rat. Down in here we have the naked mole rats. Hey little mole rat. You can get your clothes on. Penguins in the desert. Yes. Check out that ocelot in there. Hey little ocelot, where'd you go? There you go. Oh what a pretty ocelot. Oh, they climb down the mountain. Ok, 
Okay, we're looking for the spotted Gannett. Spotted Gannett, where are you? Oh, there it is. There's a little spotted Gannett. Hey, Spotty, where are you going? Oh, oh Spotty. What you doing? Oh, there it goes. There we have a black-footed cat. Hey, kitty. Hey, kitty. Oh, hey, dear little kitty. Oh, oh, you stretching. Hey. Oh. A black-footed kitty. Where are you going? Oh, I see something over there. See a big paw connected to a big sleepy lion. Be very quiet. Hate to wake up the lion, but look at the size of that big beefy paw. Oh, Mr. Lion, you are big and beefy and sleepy. See the big old sloth bear up there. I wonder why he's called a sloth bear. Is he, is he a big lazy bear? I mean, it looks like he's staying pretty active. Oh, look at that. Tigers just woke up. She's yawning there. Said her name is Whirl, and she's actually had an accident when she was young and lost her tail, but it said that she does just fine with no tail. Hey, kitty, kitty. What are you looking for? Oh, just looking for another place to lay down. It says Snow Leopard that way. Let's see if we can uh, see a Snow Leopard in here. Oh, look at the Snow Leopard. What a pretty leopard. We have pinniped underwater viewing. He likes it. <laughs> see the sleepy sea lion there. Oh, there we go. Hey there. Oh, hey there. Oh, look at him. That one will follow you. <laughs> oh. He's so cute. Hey there, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh. Oh, he's playing. Oh. Where are you going? Where are you going? You crazy sea lion. He's having a blast. <laughs> oh my goodness. So much fun. Hey buddy. Oh no. He's gonna bite me. Oh <laughs> I love you. Oh wow oh, wow. Oh. oh look he's trying to bite my hand. <laughs> oh he's so much fun. Now here we have the underwater viewing. For the dolphins. Oh, you can see there's a person in there with the dolphins. They're doing a dolphin show right now. So we're kind of viewing the underwater version of the dolphin show. Oh, person's dancing with the dolphin. And here's a very spooky dolphin skeleton you can see a very interesting shape to their bones there check out these teeth you can actually reach in here and feel some dolphin teeth ooh they're pointy i wouldn't want to be bit by a dolphin and check this out we have the moldorama mother load over here three moldorama machines in a row now again they're, they're known in the in florida in the south, they're known as mold amatics but here in the Midwest, they're called mold aromas. Let's see what we have here. We have a green walrus, a pink sea lion, and a blue dolphin. Let's just let's just crank out all three. All right, we've got them all 
fired up at the same time. See the walrus there closing up. They're injecting the molten plastic. You can hear the loud noises. You can smell the smell of molten plastic, which is my favorite smell in the entire world. Oh no, here we go. Opening up, we got our dolphin down the hatch. Grab the dolphin here. Oh, gonna hold him upside down, put the heat out. Oh, here comes the sea lion. Sea lion being pushed down. And I might as well wait and see the, 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 the walrus should be open up here momentarily. There we go. Walrus down the hatch. Let's go see how our sea lion turned out. Oh, very nice. These are very hot because they were just moments ago. They were they were molten plastic. I'm actually going to sit these down right here for just a moment while we rescue our green walrus. See, it says Brookfield Zoo down there. Those little holes there. Let the heat out. You hold them upside down and the heat rises out. Very cool. All right, we're gonna head in here to see the Ice Age Giants. Oh, here's some Ice Age humor. What did Megatherium, the giant sloth, make in the snow? Slow angels, because he's a sloth and he moves slowly. So therefore it makes slow angels. Normally you would call them snow angels because they're uh, in the snow, they look like angels, but because he's a sloth and he moves slowly, you replace snow with slow and you have slow angels. Oh no, there's some Arctic wolves. Oh, that's pretty cute, the little baby wolf right there. But watch out, mama wolf will rip your face off as soon as she would look at you. Hey, little guy. Oh, he's so cute. Why were giant polar bears worried about climate change? Because they were on thin ice. They don't want that ice to melt, so they'll, they'll, they want everything to stand on. Uh oh, coming up on the Smilodon, the saber-toothed cat. Looks like the Smilodon isn't operational today. It's not moving around, but I can just imagine the terrifying movements of the Smilodon. Here's the short-faced bear. Oh, look at that. His face is a little short. His body is big and gigantic. Oh, look at his mouth there. He's ready to eat some caveman flesh. Here's the Toxodon. Oh, he's mighty cute. Look at him. Hey there. Oh, it's a friendly Toxodon. It's another little guy over here. I wish we still had Toxodons. I'd like to hang out with them. No? There's the Hippodon. Looks like it's like a prehistoric horse of some sort. A prehistoric donkey, maybe. It's got zebra stripes too, so a, uh, you know, a, a horsey, zebra-like, donkey-like animal. There's the Dipradon. Oh, he's making crazy noises. Oh, scared me there. This is called the Brasoptodon. It's like a prehistoric giant kangaroo. Now, normal kangaroos, they can, they can punch your face in, they can kick you. Imagine coming across one of these guys. He looks pretty mean. Oh, giant cheetahs. As if normal sized cheetahs weren't terrifying enough. They can run super fast and are great at murder. But these giant cheetahs are even bigger and stronger. Oh. This is the Tylocene, the Tasmanian tiger. But what's really interesting about this, the Tasmanian tiger, is that it may be still alive. It is actually, technically, it is a cryptid. It did exist for sure. Apparently there was uh, 
some sightings. It says unconfirmed sightings as recently as 2018 have brought out the world's greatest Bigfoot hunters to find the Tasmanian tiger. So it was last seen in 1930 and apparently some people do have hope that uh, somewhere out there it is still alive. And then we have the Wanabi there, the giant snake. You wouldn't think there'd be too many snakes in the ice age given their cold-blooded nature. This is the Furoshurikos, a giant wingless eagle. And look at this, he dined on tiny horses. This big bird, which I say is related to the modern day bald eagle, gobbled down little tiny horses. It's the giant hyena there. Apparently a lot of the animals in the ice age were just versions of animals today. But, uh, but bigger, I guess they, they shrunk over the years. He's laughing. This here is called the Macrolina. Oh, listen to all the, listen to all the weird farm noises it makes. It's the Macrolina. It's a weird, weird looking thing. Got like a little tiny elephant trunk for a nose. This is the Galiptodon right here. And it says that early humans would actually make homes out of their shells. It said that these would, uh, for the ancestors of sea turtles of all things. This is a Joseph Fortigasia. I wish some of these had nicer, easier to say names. But uh, yeah, this is like a giant, I uh, said it's, it's related to the Cabibara, so that's a giant rodent right there. And there's a woolly rhinoceros. I already love regular rhinoceroses, so like the woolly ones are even better. And here's the ice ageist of all the ice age creatures, the woolly mammoth. See him swinging his tusks there. Oh, look at this. Got one of those old school lion mouth drinking fountains where you can stick your head inside of a lion's mouth while drinking some refreshing water. Looks like their drinking fountains may still be turned off because of the unpleasantness. See the alligator here. People have been climbing all over his face where they've rubbed that uh, patina away. You can always tell by the statues what's the most popular part to touch. People love touching the gator head. And it's time now to head into the swamp. One thing I did want to say about the Brookfield Zoo is they're really, really good at theming their indoor exhibits. See the swamp birds up there. See the crocodile over there. Oh, hey there, little crocky. How are you doing? Little newts down there. Like we are now entering Illinois. What do we have here in Illinois? Oh, looks like we got some Illinois river otters here. Hey there, buddy. Oh, look at him. Oh, where's he going? Did he go in that log? Hey, buddy. Oh, you're so cute. Hey there. Hey. Oh, going back in the log. And here we have Tropic World. I remember this. As a kid, they would advertise this on television. Tropic World was a huge deal. It's kind of like a walk-through jungle environment. Oh, big memories here. Let's check this out. Here in the mouth of Tropic World, it's what I would consider two of the probably the most classic Moldoramas, the waving gorilla there. And then opposite, we have the See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil monkeys. I think that was always my favorite as a kid. Got both the machines fired up. 
at the same time. See how our monkeys are doing over here. Monkeys getting ready to be dispensed here momentarily. Oh, there's our monkeys down the hatch. Let's go check on. Let's go check on our gorilla here. He waving there. Gorilla down the hatch. Ooh. Oh, so hot. So hot. They're so hot. Yeah, to me, these are two of the most classic molds you'll find. You see these a lot of different zoos. I love the creativity of the monkeys there. Walk on this bridge here. The waterfall crashing down next to it. We are in the tropic world environment. See all the monkeys up there in the tree. See the orangutan there. Hey, buddy. Hey. How are you? He's glaring right at me. It's making me somewhat uncomfortable. Hey. Hey. Oh, that steely orangutan gaze right there. Hey, what are you doing there? You like swinging on, swinging on that rope? Just hanging around? Oh, there they go. Climbing orangutan. Now, it doesn't look like there's any gorillas out today. Normally this would be the gorilla enclosure here. And uh, this gorilla enclosure was made famous back in the 90s when a small child actually fell inside the enclosure and was picked up and carried by a mother gorilla who was uh, protecting the child. Now it says the gorillas are allowed to go to their bedrooms so they don't necessarily have to be viewed if they don't feel like it. But here's the gorilla family tree. You have Binti Hua, born in 1988. This is the gorilla that rescued uh, the little boy that fell in. And apparently Binti is actually the niece of Coco, the sign language uh, talking gorilla. And I guess these are uh, Binti's children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. Some buffalo roaming over there. There's a goose here He's checking out the buffalo. You like? You like, you like, you like buffaloes? Oh, he's hissing. He, he doesn't like me. We have some more Ice Age giants over here. And look who we got. Is that you? Is that, is that Sasquatch? It says Gigantopithecus, the uh, giant ape that some, uh, some Bigfoot researchers believe to be Sasquatch. I believe that they are possibly one in the same. And look at this creature here. What what do you guys think that is? You think it's like a polar bear? Some sort of giant polar bear? It looks like it's got hands. Now you may not believe this. You can see the baby on the back there. You may not believe this, but this is a giant lemur. Those are cute, adorable little monkeys you see. This is a giant version of that. Almost looks like a combination between a monkey and a polar bear. Heading into the birdhouse here. Oh boy, you're not a bird. You're a big scary lizard. <laughs> oh, there's some sort of bird area in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at the bird down there. Eating some bird food. Oh, there's some birds in this tree. Those are pretty birds. It's a pretty orange one.
Hey Goose. Uh oh, I almost missed this Moldorama room over here. Look at this. Got four Moldoramas all in one space. We got the parrot, the buffalo. I think this is the cockatoo and the red giraffe. Oh, got them all fired up at once. Here comes, here comes the, the cockatoo. Oh no, the giraffe, the giraffe already dropped. Okay, we got the, the giraffe. The cockatoo and then the parrot and the buffalo are still going. Oh man, these are hot. Okay, let's set down the cockatoo and the giraffe right there. And here comes the buffalo. Oh, it slid before the, the pusher even had a chance to push it. So let's get that buffalo. And then there is our parrot right there. Nice. Right, we got you. Oh, so hot. Buffalo. Uh, we got, yes, the ever growing collection of molds, and I'm definitely running out of pockets. Entering in here, the living coast. Got some fish in there. See some stingrays swimming around. Here we have a shark window. See the shark back there? We walk out here, you can see some seabirds. Some, oh, little penguin right there. More penguins over there on the rocks. Oh, it's a bird, a bird's flying to the sky. Over here in the bathroom area, they have some old oramas. We got the white, Penguin right there. And then over here have the little bear there on all fours. Alright, we got both molds going. Penguin over here. The bear over here. Oh, is the bear getting ready to be released? Oh, there's our bear. There's our bear. Still working on the penguin over here. Oh, there's the penguin. Whee! There we go. The penguin and the bear. Oh. Oh. I got a lot of Moldoramas in my pockets. Here's one of my personal favorite prehistoric animals here with the Ice Age gang, the Megatherium, the giant land sloth. See him right there, unfortunately, it does not look like he's moving right now, but it's a big, giant creature. We think about Slaws being these tiny, slow animals, but they used to be these giant monsters. Here is Castoroids. He is a giant prehistoric beaver. Imagine the sort of trees that he could chew down. Big old vulture there. That one could probably carry off your corpse. Oh, he's laughing at us. Here's Cuvenarius. He looks suspiciously like an elephant. Are you kind of like an elephant? Yep, yeah, that's your that's your trunk. Oh, the vicious cave lion here. Let's see him roaring. He's squaring off against this giant cave elk. Oh. Listen to the mighty mewing, mighty mooing of the, of the cave elk. Here we have another woolly mammoth. 
there. Oh! It's this Thicolio type of prehistoric tiger right there. And there we have a giant polar bear. Oh! And this guy back here, I don't think he's part of the Ice Age, but this little fiberglass dinosaur lives in the woods back here. I would climb inside this kangaroo pouch, but I'm afraid I'd break all the moldoramas that I've crammed in my pockets. And there we have one. A bloodthirsty, rabid, maniacal, man-eating camel. And it is now time to say goodbye to the Brookfield Zoo. So a wonderful day here at the zoo and I was finally able to get to my car and unload all the moldoramas out of my pockets. Got them here on the dashboard. We had quite a few today. We got the buffalo here. The buffalo says since 1966. This was a commemorative moldorama. I forget which anniversary they made this for, um, but yeah, it is stamped with the date that moldoramas were first created. Got the green parrot, that iconic waving gorilla there, along with, we got the, the I love the monkeys. These are some of my favorite. The speak, or, or, or see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil monkeys. We got the, the bear. I do like uh, the Brookfield Zoo. I think all of them are stamped with the zoo name. I do like that when the places do stamp their name on them so you know where you got the mold from. What else we got here? Keep in mind these were all in my pocket at the same time. <laughs> we have the walrus, the green walrus, the tall, slender red giraffe. That big old dolphin there jumping. The pink sea lion and the white penguin. It was this giant blue cockatoo. Look at just like, look at all these I got today. These aren't even, look at all these molds. These aren't even all the molds in the zoo. <laughs> These aren't even all the molds in the zoo. <laughs> uh, I missed some of them today because, um, mainly just because the zoo's so big. I didn't get to all the sections of the zoo. And that's actually a good piece of advice. If you do come here to the Brookfield Zoo, come early as you can because there's a lot to see. It is very sizable, a lot of walking. So you want to get here nice and early so you can see everything and get all the molds. Get the molds. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for watching these videos. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, it'll let you know when my videos are coming out. I do try to upload every day. If you'd like to support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month. Also selling a brand new enamel pin in the Etsy shop. All that is in the description of this video and all that helps keep this train on the track, this boat on the water, and this green parrot in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.